Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a project I'm going to be working on this summer. A while back I found an old Briggs 5 horse flathead engine block and uh, it's the piston seized in the cylinder. Uh, the block is busted because it threw a rod and came through the side of the engine. It's not too bad, it can be welded and fixed. Uh, I thought it would be a good little project to work on. Uh, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to try to get the piston out. I've been soaking it in PB blaster, penetrating oil. Hopefully it will get unstuck and uh, get the valves loosened up. and might take them out and see what we got to do. Okay, right here's the block. Let me show it to you. It's in pretty bad shape. It's been outside for a long time. Uh, that's a mess. Oh. Piston's stuck in there pretty good. The valves are stuck. I've been soaking it in PB blaster ever since last night, so hopefully we'll hopefully it'll break loose. We'll see what we can do here. Okay, here it is. You can see it's stuck in there pretty good. Seized to it. Uh, now, a mistake a lot of people make, they'll take a big old metal hammer right here and just hit it real hard. Don't do that. Either hit it with the bottom of a hammer or hit it with a rubber mallet. I'm going to try this wooden handle here and hit it. There it comes. Now when it starts moving, it's probably best to put a little bit more penetrating oil in there. Let it set for a few seconds. And just don't get mad at it and hit it real hard because you'll either score the cylinder really bad or uh, crack the piston. And I don't know if this piston is going to be worth saving or not. Don't hit it extremely hard. Just hit it like I'm doing here. That's almost it's getting there. Oop. Almost out. Fell out and hit the floor there. Here it is. Get the block out of the way. There it is. Actually, not that bad. The rings are stuck, so I might have to get a new one after all. We'll see. Yep, see, you sell tell it through a rod. And when I popped the cover off here, I found this inside of it. It's been. It threw a rod probably about 15 years ago or longer. I've been sitting outside ever since. This is a view of the cylinder bore. It's not in too bad a shape. A little bit of hunting should clean that up real good. I'm gonna wipe out, wipe it out here. Get the excess penetrating oil out of it. Okay, now we're going to the valves. Okay, now we're gonna get the valves unstuck. I've had them soaking in penetrating oil when the valve stems in the port. What I did, just squirt a little bit, back like that. Same for down here in the spring. I had it sitting upside down all last night, so it should be soaked up pretty good. Then just take a straight screwdriver, stick underneath the valve spring, up underneath the valve stem right here. Just pry it up a little bit. That one came loose real easy. Now to the intake valve. stuck real good. You don't want to pry it too hard or you'll crack this aluminum. Okay, I'm going to have to let some more PB Blaster sit on it for a little while. I don't want to pry it too hard. I thought I'd go ahead and show you the other parts I got for it. Here's the camshaft. It's in pretty good shape, just a little rusty. Need to clean it up. It should be good to go. Of course, here's the valve cover. It just needs cleaned up and we'll be good to go. Here's the crankshaft out of it. You can see it right there. It's scored just a little bit, not too bad. Seems like it's pretty good shape. And the only other problem I'm going to have with it is this right here. Your cover it is on the back side. Some people call it the sump or I always just call it the crank cover. 
crankcase cover. It all looks good until you start looking at it. If you look at it right here, it's got a bad crack right there in it. It goes all the way through. So I'll probably just have to have that welded. Then surface all this to get it get it all even through here. So Alright, I'm gonna let that valve soak a little bit and we'll try to get it out. Okay now I'm gonna try something else. I never had to do this, but I'm gonna try it and we'll take a chisel, get up underneath the valve stem, and hit it with the hammer. There it is. Now it's stuck this way. Put some more penetrating oil on it. Tap it back down easily. Now you want to just keep working with it. Freeze up real nice. Now it's getting there. You're probably saying you're using an awful lot of oil. Better to have more than enough than not enough. That's pretty free. Both working real nice. You can see this is not damaged at all now. If I kept prying with it on the screwdriver, this probably would have cracked right through. Okay, this is how the valve is held into in the block. Sorry about this. It's hard to try to watch myself in the camera. You got this retainer clip here. It's bigger on one end. It slides off. And smaller on the other side. It slides on there. That's how you hold it on there. Now, if you look at the engine, this is what. This is the how it's set up right here, like this. And the spring rests up against the top piece of this metal right here. Just like this. Now when you're using the valve spring compressor, you want to get the spring, you want to get the claw up underneath. Whoop. You want to get it in between the retainer clip and the bottom of the valve spring right here. And try to get it on the top of this and just squeeze the spring like this. Okay, after you okay. get your valve spring compressor adjusted, these little screws, you screw them in, it makes it tighter so that the claws come in closer for these small springs. You're working on a big engine, back these off so they spread out further for your smaller springs. Then you just tighten it up, keep some pressure on it, and you'll see it come loose. And you know, work with it a little bit. These small engines, it's a tight setup. Right there, it's loose. Now, you can pull the valve out. Take a flat screwdriver. Press on the valve stem until it sticks out enough down here. And wiggle the valve out like that. Right there, nasty intake valve. Needs cleaned up a lot. Might need replaced. And here's a retainer clip that came out with it. Right here. Okay, for the exhaust valve, I'm going to use the other type of compressor. It don't matter. I'm just doing it to show you how how you can use both of them. Sometimes these work easier than the others. It just depends on what you're doing. It's such a tight area, it's hard to get tools down in here to... And I just gotta it. There we go. I thought I knocked the valve spring compressor off. Now you wanna pull your valve out like this. Wiggle it. If it's too tight, just work with it. Might want to put a little oil on it. You think it's necessary. These old valves, once they're in there for a while, they're in there. Let me get some more penetrating oil here. Pull it back out a little bit. And there it comes. This one looks better than the intake valve. I get the camera in focus. Okay, now you just want to pull your valve spring out, your retainer clip. Now I'll 
I'll show you a little trick here. What I use to put these in. Put them, when you put trick, it's just the easiest way I've found to do it. Okay. First of all, you gotta get the claw set for your valve side or your spring side. So screw it out until it fits in there. Also, make sure this is out all the way, like this. Press that in there so it'll hold it. Now get the other side adjusted. Sorry, I'm off camera. I gotta watch what I'm doing. I can't watch myself on the screen. Okay, and once you get that, tighten it up. And also, be careful when doing this. If you got it in there loose or the wrong way, these things can just shoot out of there. See how easy it is? Now you can just stick it back in there. You get plenty of room to work because the spring is compressed so much. That's the way I've always done it. Okay, after you get the valves out of it, you can take a look at the valve seats and the ports. The valve seats are just dirty. A lot of grease on there and a little bit of rust. After that, clean them up. I probably better just reseat the valves or put new valves in and reseat them. You can also check your play in the valve guides. There's quite a bit of play. Uh, I may not fool with putting new bushings in. I might. We'll see. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, if there's too much play in there, it'll just burn a little bit of oil because your oil can seat past your valve guides because that space that's in there. Uh, We'll see, see what we need to do there. Uh, pretty much just dirty. Everything's dirty. Uh, on the engine that's been sitting outside for about 15 years, it's gonna, you're gonna have corrosion on everything. You can see the cylinder bore. None of it's real deep. However, on uh, let me find it. Yeah, right here. These are the deepest scores in there. Uh, not too bad really I've seen a lot worse than that uh, I think I could probably hunt it out and should be good to go if not I'll just have it bored out and uh, possibly bored out more and put a sleeve in it the way it lasts longer hey okay, now I'm going to try to clean up the top of the block here all this corrosion and carbon build up also when you use a wire brush on a drill make sure you put the valves back in that way you won't uh, tear up the valve seats and you get one little gouge in there and then you might as well just replace them which is a job now we're going to try to just try to clean this up real good also note I'm wearing safety glasses too because you want to get this stuff in your eyes just take it easy we're not trying to resurface this we're just trying to clean it up a little bit You don't have to put a whole lot of pressure on it either. Hey, just keep working with it like that all the way around. It'll get it cleaned up. Yeah, there it is. I actually cleaned it up pretty good. I think it's going to have to be surfaced from the milling machine. Uh, <clears throat> it'll boost your compression a little bit too. Uh, Okay, and also, while I was at it, I cleaned up the ports, not the inside, just the outside surface, the surface of that, and the surface of the crankcase, most of it, and I started on that in the bottom, just a big mess, I cleaned off the side of the paint right there with the wire brush, back here is the hole in the block I gotta fix, I'm not that worried about it, uh, I'm just gonna get it plated piece of metal, piece of aluminum welded on top of this. Uh, you look on the inside. I'll clean all that up too. Well, that's it for right now. I'll keep you all updated on it. That's what I'm working on. So I appreciate you all watching this. Uh, hope you all like my latest videos because I am decided to use a YouTube editor and try that out and see how that works. Uh, if it don't work out this well this time, I won't use it again. I just thought it would make it a little bit better. So, Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.